G'day legends, I hope you're all awesome. On today's video, we're checking out the newest guitar in the PRS SE lineup. This is the Custom 24 Semi Hollow Pizzo. I'm gonna say Pizzo. Feel free to ridicule me in the comments if you prefer to say Piezo or Pizzo. I don't really care. It's got an under saddle acoustic pickup on here with a dedicated volume control. There's separate outputs on here so you can have a blend between the magnetic and the Pizzo, or you can have them running in parallel. I'll give you some examples of that a little later in the video. Otherwise, it's pretty much custom 24 spec on here. We've got 24, what to me look like medium frets on here. They're definitely not as big as say the frets on the SE DGT. There's birds, the finish, as you can see, I'm gonna guess that this is a flame maple veneer, like a lot of the other PRS SE guitars on here. However, looking at it, it definitely looks like it's probably maple all the way through on there. Mahogany back, it has a gloss finish all around. Interesting little touch, it has the matching kind of dark burst, or I would say maybe not quite a tobacco burst finish on there to match the body. Then we've got two humbuckers in here with a three-way switch and a coil tap. Like I said earlier, there is a dedicated volume control for the undersaddle acoustic pickup on here. Binding as well, which I think suits the overall aesthetics of this particular instrument. And then there's the PRS SE bridge. You will notice, of course, because it's got the undersaddle pickup on there. That's gonna look a little bit different to say the bridge you get on the SE DGT. Let's hear some tones in isolation from the magnetic pickups on here. I'll give you some cleaner and some dirtier sounds on here. Then we will hear the undersaddle pickup raw. Then with a little bit of processing, I'll let you hear it side by side with my SE DGT as well. They feel pretty different. The neck shape is very different. The overall weight because of this being a semi hollow is different. The frets, all that kind of thing is enough for me to consider them totally different guitars for different players. This is very comfortable and the trem is set up very well straight out of the box. I haven't changed the strings or anything like that on here either. Then I'll show you how I would actually use this in a gigging context. And I've got a very specific type of gig in mind. I'll just put some subtitles up so you can enjoy the tones without me yapping in between. Let's go. <laughs>
personally have a very specific use case for this guitar, and it's the sort of beer garden acoustic duo looping gigs that I do a lot. And in this case, I would actually use both outputs on here in parallel. So I'd be using the magnetic output going in this case to my Axe FX with an amp and cab model. And then the piezo output will be processed the way we heard it before. So a little bit of EQ reverb and multiband compression. Both of these would feed into a looper and then I'd be able to go through and basically play acoustic guitar. Whenever I feel like looping a passage, I can then do an electric guitar solo over it. And I've kind of got the best of both worlds there where I can get a very workable acoustic style sound out of this guitar and it's kind of got some of the aesthetics of an acoustic guitar but then I've got all the playability and all the kind of juice and sustain of an electric guitar on there. I'll give you a very quick example of this, nothing too fancy, it's normally simple three chord stuff like this. <laughs> So as we heard in comparison to the DGT, this definitely has its own voice. Surprisingly, looking at it as like a semi-hollow with some acoustic guitar aesthetics, I think it makes a great rock guitar. I've really been enjoying semi-hollow guitars this year. You've seen my ES-335, my Chilia, and a few other guitars on the channel. This just confirms to me that I really, really dig semi-hollows on here. And the SEDGT has more of a refined, 
old school vintage vibe, like a kind of nice Les Paul meets Strat. This has its own thing going on and it's definitely classic PRS custom territory to me. I love the way that neck pickup sounds split and the bridge humbucker full on is awesome. As we heard in there, you can get some really great compressed chorus clean sounds by actually blending in the split modes on these pickups and the acoustic pickup as well. It also makes a pretty good slap guitar tone in my limited capacity to actually play funky slap guitar. So look, this is a lot more than meets the eye. It's definitely one of the better SE guitars that I have played. I think if I just wanted a straight up rock and roll workhorse, I'd still go with the DGT. But this sort of thing, for a lot of the gigs that I do, like I mentioned, doing the looping thing, doing the acoustic duo thing, makes so much sense because you get a big body acoustic guitar, it's harder to play, you can't really get convincing electric tones out of it and you plug it in through an undersaddle pickup and it doesn't sound that flash hot or anything like an acoustic guitar anyway. This way, you get all the good things about playing an electric guitar and the undersaddle pickup still sounds pretty decent. Again, you can go down the IR route with it and use some acoustic IRs if you really wanted to do that. But to me, the acoustic guitar in a beer garden, super compressed piezo pickup through a small PA is such a common thing to hear what I live anyway. And this does that totally fine. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments section below on this particular guitar. And I want to give Matt and the team at Electric Factory here in Australia a big shout out for always looking after me and for getting this particular guitar out to me so that I can make this demo video. If you dig what you heard in the video, you might like my band Ragdoll or some of the exclusive content I ha have up on my Patreon. It's linked in the video description. I will leave you all to go and play your guitars now and make some glorious noises. See you next time. <laughs> Thank you.